Hello, my name is Ryan Dark, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I will be discussing how to create a symmetry boundary condition that you can attach to your shell elements of a simulation. Uh, this is not something that you can directly make in within a SOLIDWORKS simulation, but it's something that you can create through the definition of what a symmetry restraint does. So uh, the model before you is a model I ran earlier. It clearly can be cut into a quarter model uh, and simulated if we have access to symmetry restraints. So I'll go ahead and hide this and uh, we'll take a look at the quarter model I proposed to run. So here we have now a quarter model. Um, if we were to be able to make a symmetry on this face, this face, this edge, and this edge, we would be able to run a quarter size model, reducing the amount of time that we take to calculate this model. So uh, let's take a look at how we uh, are going to create that. Of course, the faces can just use a symmetry definition, uh, just like any normal symmetry definition included with the program. Uh, the edges, though, require some kind of uh, uh, use uh, creative use of the use reference geometry so I'm going to edit the definition of one and show you how this is done so as you can see I have the edge selected as the edge I want to affect with this restraint I've used the right plane in this case for my reference plane the right plane is also the symmetry plane in this case uh, going down a little further I've turned on three of the translation and rotation toggles now this is how you're creating the, the symmetry restraint for a shell. Of course I've turned on the normal to plane translation. Uh, that's the definition that uh, is created for just a, you know, a solid geometry symmetry, but since shells are also capable of rotating, we have to tie down their rotations. So the in-plane rotations, the two in-plane rotations you see here, are the rotations that you want to turn on and set to zero. Um, having these two rotations on as well as the the one translation is what's going to create the symmetry restraint on this edge with reference to the right plane. So now I have to set up two of these because it is a use reference geometry restraint and the same plane is not going to be effective on both edges. So I've on this side used the top plane as my reference. I've selected the other edge and I've turned on the same two uh, rotation restraints in the one translation. So uh, those are the same except now they're with reference to front plane. Um, so when we run this model, uh, all, of, all of the other restraints have remained the same. I've actually gone ahead and made the mesh element sizes the same in both models. One will actually run very much quicker than the other. We won't take the time to do that though. We'll just turn on the results that we, we got from before. And you can see there's a 6.622 times 10 to the negative fifth displacement in this model. Uh, if we go back to our whole model, activate our whole model, show the displacement, you can see that uh, there is a 6.584 times 10 to the negative fifth displacement. So we have less than 1% error in our analysis for the displacement, uh, but we've saved a whole lot of time because we have just a quarter model. So um, that's something that, you know, if you're running a gigantic model, can, you know, cut something down from a four hour run to a one hour run. Very useful uh, in those cases. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS.